This is section 3.3, Product and Quotient Rules. In this video, we're going to go through example 27 in your book, and this is a problem where we'll have to use a quotient rule in order to take the derivative of this function. So first, before we go through this example, let's first go through what quotient rule tells us. So if we have a function, it's a quotient of two other functions, and we're taking the derivative of it, we'll just need to follow this pattern. And for this pattern, I labeled my numerator as my high, and my denominator as my low. So quotient rule tells us that the pattern is, for the derivative, we go low times d high, meaning the derivative of the high of the numerator, oh, minus my high, my numerator, times d low, derivative of the denominator. And all of that is over low, the entire low, squared. Okay, so here's our pattern for quotient rule. I'm just going to apply this, plug everything in for this function here. So before I do that, I'm first going to label my low and my high. My denominator is my low, my numerator is my high. And now I just follow this pattern. So my pattern tells me that for h prime of t, I have my low, the entire denominator, times my d high, derivative of t is just 1, and all of this minus all of the next part, which is high times d low. Now notice here, in my denominator, I have the product of two functions. So in my d low, my derivative of the denominator, I'll have to use my product rule that I also learned in this section. And remember, product rule tells us to uh, take the first times derivative of the second plus second times derivative of the first. So applying that rule, the derivative of the low becomes t plus 1 times derivative of the second part. Derivative of t squared is just 2t plus derivative of 1 is 0, plus my second, which is t squared plus 1, times derivative of my first. Derivative of t is 1, derivative of 0, or of 1 is 0. So I just get this quantity here. All right, and all of this is over my low squared. So over t plus 1 times t squared plus 1, all of this squared. Okay. So I'm not going to go through all the simplifying here because there is quite a bit to do. Um, but I will tell you the answer. So if you want to go through this on your own. So when you multiply all this out, it becomes minus 2t cubed minus t squared plus 1 over t cubed plus t squared plus t plus 1. All that squared. Aren't teleprompters great? <laughs> so here's your final answer. Um, one key thing to remember, though is that for this numerator here, you have this entire top part minus whatever you get whenever you simplify out this quotient or this uh, quantity right here. And if you have multiple parts in this quantity, you'll need to distribute this negative sign to each of those terms. Other than that, though, for quotient rules, you just follow this pattern and you'll get the derivative. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in. But all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sid Rich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.